how to turn on severe weather alerts on your Samsung phone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable severe weather alerts. So if your current location or a location that you want to track gets a severe weather alert, such as a tornado warning, flood warning, something like that, you'll get notified on your phone. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So I'll show you a couple different ways. But the first thing we want to make sure is that if our cell phone carrier sends any severe weather alerts, our phone has those enabled so that we get those. And to do that, simply swipe up from the bottom and then open the settings. Then in the settings, scroll down a little bit and select notifications. And then in notifications, select advanced settings. From there, we just need to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see wireless emergency alerts. Select that. And you just want to make sure that first you have allow alerts turned on. And then you want to make sure that extreme threats and severe threats are turned on. So if you have those two turned on and your wireless provider sends any severe weather alerts to you, you will get those and they will notify you through a notification. Now, the most reliable way that I've found to get severe weather alerts on my Samsung phone is going to be to use the Red Cross Severe Weather app. So this app, you can easily configure locations in it and then configure what type of alerts you want. But I found it to be almost immediate as soon as my area or the area I want to watch gets any type of warning or watch, I will get notified in the app and it works great. So all you need to do is look up Red Cross Severe Weather in the Google Play Store. Check the description. I'll also have a direct link to this app in the Google Play Store. Go ahead and select install. Then just open up the app once it's installed. And I'm going to be using it in English, so I'll select English. And then after that, you can have it set up for location tracking so that the app will just let you know if there have been any severe weather alerts based on your current location. So I'm going to select continue. And the most important thing about this app is to allow it to have critical alert access on your phone. So giving it this access gives the app the ability to bypass do not disturb or silent mode. So if there's a tornado warning in your area, that's at night and you have do not disturb turned on, this will give you that notification regardless of your notification settings so that you know that there's a tornado warning. So I recommend selecting open notification preferences and then allowing it to have emergency access to your notifications. Once you've done that, you can select back to go back to the app. Then if you want to, you can have it track your location live. So just select the little plus button, give it real time location access, and then you'll get notifications based on your current location. I'm just going to add a location. So I'll select add location and then just type the zip code or location you want to have tracked. Then when it comes up, select the plus symbol. And then once a location is set up, you can tell it what kind of alerts you want. So they have high alerts. And if you select that, it'll tell you what those are. So I may not want to get those, but I definitely want to get any high winds, severe thunderstorms, floods, tornadoes. So you can go through here, turn on and off what you want, uh, just so you make sure that you're not woken up by things that maybe you don't really care about. But things like a tornado warning, things like that, I recommend turning those on. So once you select finish, You'll then see the alert right there. It'll show you any current alerts you have. And if you select it, you can go in and give it a nickname or even change the alerts further. And now you're set up. So if any alerts in your area come up, such as tornado warnings, you'll get a notification and your phone will make a noise. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.